Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. La Liga team of the season is leaked, but the cards have actually already shown up in the game. Yes, that is true. Yesterday, people were actually packing the official La Liga team of the season cards. Now, they're not on the market or anything like that, but we're going to take a look at some screenshots today of people actually having the real La Liga Tots cards in their clubs because somehow they were already appearing in packs. I don't know what EA did, but there was a mistake that was made, and we have leaks and also confirmed stuff stats for not all the cards but some of them to look through today of course with a lot more content expected to come with the loading screen confirming daily icon player SBCs as well and a lot of leaks and some lot of market movement happening right now because of that so we'll talk about that and potentially investing in fodder once again on the higher tier because of all these icon SBCs that are going to come out and then today on Thursday might be a bit of a quiet day but we're expecting new objectives and we'll talk more about that in today's video as well a lot to cover today if you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's start with yesterday's content just really quickly to start things off here. Of course, we finally had the Guerrero SBC, man. And I'm telling you guys, this guy lives up to the hype exactly as we thought he would. Four star, four star, high, medium, left footed. He has got 88 shot power, which is under the magic cutoff number of 89 shot power or below, which makes his Travella outside of the foot shots insane. He's got the trade. He is so good in game, guys. I'm telling you, right? I've used Conte a lot uh, as a midfielder in this game. This Guerrero is so good. Tried him out in the cup a little bit. He's amazing for the price, the great links as well. He is living up to the hype indeed. And I think a lot of people are doing his SBC. 160,000 coins, 70% upvote. Again, guys, I love how versatile he is. And in game, he is just, I don't know how else to describe him besides like, I don't know, like a demon, bro. He just is so fast, so agile with the explosive accelerate type. I threw an anchor on my Guerrero to get that strength up just a little bit, kind of maxing out his defending stats almost. The rest of his card, especially his dribbling, is just super duper insane. He does like to track forward a lot. So I kind of like using him as a center mid, box to box, but more so going forward. He's got great shooting stats. For outside of the box shots, he's got the great dribbling and passing. So he is just an absolutely mental SBC. And I'm so glad that EA dropped him at such a great price. That's one of the bigger WSBCs of the team of the season, in my opinion, for how cracked he is in game. And if you've got a Bundesliga team you're rocking right now, that card has got to be in it, in my opinion. So that was big from yesterday. We also had the Bundesliga Tots upgrade, which was a little bit more expensive than I thought it was going to be or hoped that it would be. Two squads, once again, it seems like the Major League Tots upgrades are kind of making them a little bit more expensive. 100,000 coins, though. Not that bad. The only problem was it felt like the weight on that pack yesterday was so bad. We opened some on stream and we didn't pack anybody better than uh, Frimpong. Maybe we got one Kimmich, but we had so many Schlotterbecks. I got Brandt, Duplicate, Lacroix, Sané, right? A lot of Kolomani, Kolbels. Just full fuel Krugs, right? There were just not very many good pack pulls from that SBC yesterday, it seemed, for most of us. Now, if you got lucky, GG's. But uh, that one just kind of seemed a little bit disappointing yesterday because, at least for us, it did not seem like it had very good pack weight. Not that it usually does. Uh, and, of course, as you can already see that some of these cards have risen in price. There was some panic around the drop of that SBC yesterday, and those prices were really low. I did end up losing a good amount of coins trying to flip these guys um, from yesterday. But, you know what? It is what it is. Is, and some of them have rebounded up. So if you bought some of these for your team yesterday, you're probably looking at some profits there as those prices have gone up. We'll talk more about the market in this video a little bit later. But along with content yesterday, we had a kind of a surprising SBC dropped the 81 team of the week upgrade and it's tradable this time. So it was a tradable version and an untradable version. And it says you can do it once every 13 days. So it's bringing a little bit of supply to the market, but also every 13 days, like that's really not going to bring that much supply. So that was kind of the content yesterday. Not a crazy day, but definitely with Bundesliga get guaranteed a lot of stuff going on there. And a lot of people starting to form their teams and build their teams to maybe qualify for weekend today, get those rivals rewards and kind of move on into the weekend with Bundesliga teams for weekend league and especially for qualifying. Right? I feel like Thursdays are big days for me, especially to qualify for foot champs. So there's probably going to be some movement today on the market as people try to buy cards for their team for that. Now, let's get into some of the craziness with the La Liga leaks and the official team of the season cards that have already shown up inside of this game. It all started yesterday with this loading screen right here. EA confirming three Tots cards having skill with weak foot upgrades, a left mid with five star weak foot, probably Vinny Jr. being 5'5". Five five. That's exciting. Five star, five star center mid, 
gotta be Pedri, we think. And then a five-star skill move center forward, most likely Kareem Benzema. And then also on the loading screen showing daily icon player SBCs. We know who these kind of little teasers are, right? We're gonna take a look at some of those leaks today. There's a lot of leaks in today's video, so there's a lot to look at there. But from this loading screen, we had a couple hours later, cards actually started to show up in the game. And these are official screenshots of the actual La Liga team of the season cards, guys. The official stats of these cards and the official players in this team, we believe were in packs yesterday because they started showing up on the game in 81 plus doubles and in like some of the loan packs for like the 99 rated or 99 game alone players. This is the official uh, card for Luka Modric team of the year, 99 dribbling and 99 passing plus two over his team of the year card, especially on that dribbling going all the way to 99. That is insane. He's getting a pace upgrade there as well. This might be one of the best Modric cards that we have seen since his team of the year back in, I think FIFA 21 when he was 90 nine rated but a big boost there for him going to 99 overall in the dribbling and the passing so a big ggs from ea there and as we take a look through the rest of these cards a 94 rated official stats here for ter stegen he looks nice probably going to be pretty cheap this marino card looks like bruno guimaraes but he's going to be cheaper because he's la liga not brazilian and not in the premier league this might kind of like set the standard for midfielders in this game and be a cheap beast, right? Um, this card, I think, is going to be less than 100,000 coins heading into next week as the cards have been in packs for a while. This is going to be a really nice card to try out on a low level. And as we take a look at some of these ratings, it's like EA are juicing up the top tier again, like we saw with Bundesliga. Look at Lewandowski. 90 pace. That is a plus nine pace boost over his ones to watch card that is 94 rated. That's a big boost there. Also with 99 shooting, I just hope that they give him a five star weak foot and that could rival Harry Kane is what people say the most kind of overpowered striker in the game. Lewandowski might be right up there with Harry Kane here in the next couple of days getting released onto this game. So other cards that were posted, Molina as a right back. That's a pretty good looking card for a right back. He's undoubtedly going to be pretty cheap as well. But those are some really good stats and some really good links. And Fede Valverde. My goodness, what a card this is. 94 pace, 92 dribble, 89 defense, 91 physical, 91 passing. The midfielders that have been leaked in this team look absolutely astounding. They look so good. With the Modric, the Valverde that we've seen, we're going to see a Marcus Llorente here in a second. Absolutely cracked cards there. Now, moving on to a few more, we've got a couple of Tots moments. Javi Galan is a left back, it looks like. He's probably going to be pretty cheap, but his stats look pretty good for a left back there. 94 pace, 93 dribble, 86 defense, and 89 physical. That's a good looking card. David Garcia, he's going to be one of the cheapest cards in this team, but you know, not a bad card in that right as well. 84 pace, but 93 defense, 92 physical. Decent card there. Fakir getting a Tots Moments card. EA trying to sell some packs here, make some money off of a Fakir. But hey, we'll take it, right? 90 pace, 90 shooting, 92 passing and dribbling. That's going to be a nice card in this game. Very overpowered in FIFA always is Nabil Fakir. And getting a Tots Moments, he's going to be a very valuable card during team of the season. And Balde, as our left back in the team, 96 pace, 95 dribble. Dribble, those stats look really, really good. So again, it looks like EA is doing a nice juice here with these cards. Some of the lower tier ones that are even lower rated, like the 93 Balde, uh, the 91 Fakir, these stat boosts and some of these guys are still pretty nice and they look like very, very usable cards and they're probably going to be pretty cheap as well. But on the top tier, the stat boosts look really good too. Now, Griezmann is one who I thought, uh, or at least I hoped was going to be about 95 rated. Instead, he's 94 rated. And again, I think Griezmann's not going to be 5-star, five 5-star five like his path to glory is. I would imagine a 5-star skills or a 5-star weak foot upgrade for this card, but probably not both. So that 5-star, five 5-star five path to glory still might be the best in terms of skills and weak foot on this game, but that is going to be a really good Griezmann card. 72 defense as well is kind of crazy for Griezmann. Now, the last couple here, we've got a Gabri Vega. That looks like a really usable card as well. Going to be very cheap as a box-to-box. -box. He had that Player of the Month SBC earlier on this year, but 92 rated with 92 pace and 94 dribbling. Don't sleep on this card. He's going to be cheap and good. Uh, and then, of course, we have who we think is the center mid on the loading screen, Pedri, 92 pace, 95 dribble, and 92 passing. That's a cracked looking card. It's just, it's crazy. How did these cards all of a sudden just start to show up in the game? Like, it does not make sense how this happens on a Wednesday, right? We had it last, I think, during community team of the season. It happened on like a, 
on a Thursday just for like an hour and it happened again today or yesterday rather. It just does not make sense. But look at this. Another midfielder, Marcus Llorente with 95 pace, 91 dribble, 90. He's almost club 90 apart from shooting and physical. What an insane card that Marcus Llorente looks like in this game. So it's crazy that we already have the confirmed stats for a lot of these cards. Now, we don't know all of them, though, right? We do not know all of these cards. We just have some of the leaks. And I will say this. Um, it, it looks really good. It looks pretty promising. And um, it looks like they're giving out some really sizable boosts. I hope that for a lot of these cards, too, a couple skill move and weak foot boosts are being thrown in there, as we saw on the loading screen. They're doing that for a few of the cards. But there's still plenty of these guys that we do not have official um, stats for, right? You think about guys like Militao and Kunde. We have not seen a version yet of Vinny Jr., or Benzema. So there's still players in here that we're hoping get big boosts and still have really, really nice cards upcoming, but we just haven't actually seen them in the game yet. Now, if you try to find these like La Liga Tots cards, I just tried searching the market myself. I'm pretty sure if anybody has packed one of these, they can't list it on the market because uh, you know how like a card when it's dropped early on accident, you try to like click into the card and it'll say there was an error retrieving the uh, attributes for the card. And you notice that all the cards that we looked at that were popping up in the game did not have any dynamic images, right? That's another clear sign that those cards are not supposed to be in the game yet because not all of, like the game assets, the, the data of those cards, the images, right, has been loaded into the game yet. They're not actually in FIFA. It's just like some sort of mistake. So it's crazy how that happened. And uh, it's crazy. Usually we're just looking at predicted stats and leaks, right? But we actually have the official cards and we know some of them. So it's we all honestly know about 75% of the team. So that's kind of crazy. And we'll see if anything else comes from that. But La Liga Tots looks pretty nice. And I'm pretty excited to see these cards fully get released under the game. The rest of the cards that we don't know the stats for, I'm super excited because it looks like it might be a really fun week of FIFA. Now, continuing the trend of the leaks, we have got some SBCs to talk about here, guys. Because yesterday, Ronaldinho Prime Icon was leaked as one of the SBCs to come out during La Liga team this season. And the loading screen once again confirmed daily icon SBCs and FIFA U team said it's going to be the prime version of Ronaldinho. And of course, if you take a look at Footbin at prime Ronaldinho, all the versions of Ronaldinho are down bad, but the prime specifically is down about 1 million coins. He was 4.5 mil yesterday, and today he is 3.7. Even, honestly, last weekend, he's down 2 million coins from where he was. He was 5.8 mil, and now he is 3.7. An absolute crazy drop-off, as this is a card that so many people will just do the SBC for because it's Ronaldinho, right? We have a couple other insane icon players that are leaked, right? Foot Birthday Kuman, that's going to be a, a bit of a cheaper one, but still pretty nice with the Dutch links there. And then we have a, uh, I don't know if it's going to be posted here on FIFA U Team's account. I think it was actually tweeted by FIFA Trading Romania. Romania. He tweeted out Makalele as the team of the year icon. We were hoping that it was Beckham, but it's going to be Makalele, we believe. And then Foot Birthday Pushkas, that is a massive, massive leak as well. So as of right now, those are all the icons that we have that are leaked. Ronaldinho and Pushkas probably being the biggest out of all of those. And with these SBCs upcoming, we have to ask the question, do we need to invest in the high tier, higher rated fodder? Because will we finally see a rise on these cards as there's going to be demand for icon SBCs? If you think about a Ronaldinho SBC, there's no way that this can be less than like 3 million coins, right? I mean, EA are going to make us pay for this card that is like a, a dream card and, and an idol almost for so many people that play football, that watch football. This is a dream card they would love to achieve. And the fact that it's going to be available as an SBC is mental. So many people are going to do this. It's on a level of like Zidane and Cruyff from earlier this year, maybe even Jarzinho, maybe even above all of those guys, because Ronaldinho just carries so much hype in FIFA and in real life. So many people are going to want to do this SBC and all the other I kind of species that are dropping in this upcoming week so do we need to invest in fodder here's my dilemma with fodder right now it's already rising and we've got more team of the season cards that are going to come onto this game and kind of challenge these other 92 and 93 rated cards as some of the lowest rated fodder look at Julian Brandt right yes he did start off at 70,000 coins but he dropped off and after a couple of days to a pretty low price uh, of where he was last night at his lowest point, 33,000 coins. That tradable Bundesliga player pick, if you bought any fodder in this kind of low 
section. Um, I guess it was like Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. We're not going to see prices like this again, probably for the rest of uh, almost the game until like the summer when these cards all come back into packs. And that 93 Brandt being 33,000 coins was crazy. Now, if you see any dips on these cards today, whether it's the 92s, the 93s, or the 91s, I think you can do a little bit of a club stock, right? Remember when 91s were 25K earlier in the week? Now they're up, right? You can see they're rising 28,000 coins for Lewandowski. Of course, he's going out of packs. That might impact him a bit. Kevin De Bruyne, 27,000 coins. If you want to do a bit of a club stock on fodder on the high tier, especially if you're wanting to do Ronaldinho, that is not a bad idea because I could see some of these cards going up in price especially if Ronaldinho comes on Friday now how much would they go up would it be a crazy amount I don't think it would be a crazy amount because again like I said you have a lot of team of the season cards that are dropping every single week and as we see some of these tweets right you see a 92 Gabri Vega you see a Javi Galan that's 92 rated he's going to be probably fodder right 90 rated David Garcia um, Molina, 92 rated. He's probably going to be pretty cheap, right? Not all of this team is going to be fodder and be really cheap, but a couple of these guys are. So that's why I'm thinking, okay, there's going to be more higher rated TOTS cards that are going to be in packs. We've got an MLS team of the season team that is going to be coming out on Sunday. And you notice here that a lot of the cheapest cards by their rating are some of the secondary league teams. So it all kind of comes down to the timing. But in the grand scheme of things, I think that stocking up a couple 91s to 93s in your transfer list, in your club, is a good idea. And then I also am kind of looking at the 88s and the 89s because that is a part of the fodder market that has risen a little bit. Yes, Tony Cruz being 16,000 coins, it is up, right? He was 13K, now he's up to 16,000 coins. But could these cards go to like 20,000 coins with all these icon species coming out? You're going to think about, right? With the way fodder is priced right now, EA is going to have to drop a lot of 89, 90, 91 rated squads maybe in this SBC to get to the final price of 3 million coins. I think that if you want to go in on a more full investment, I would say 88s to the 89s are the place to do that because they're going to need it, be needed in higher quantities then you will need like the 91s and 92s, 93s. Those could go up, but I would try to look at the gold cards, guys. The gold cards between 88 to 89, because when people do SBCs, they think of the gold cards. They don't like turning in, uh, you know, a lot of people like Informs and other special cards from other promos people see the gold cards as the fodder and those are what usually rise the most in these sort of situations so i would try to get on some bids today maybe during rivals rewards maybe during marquee matchups but i think these prices are going to stay especially if ronaldinho drops on friday pretty expensive if ronaldinho does not drop on friday and it's like cumin or makalili and something that's not as exciting then the prices may drop down a little bit but for the next week with all of these sbcs that are coming to the game I think it might not be a bad shout to stock some of these in the club because I just see an opportunity for these prices to rise here in the next coming days with all of the content planned. Now for low tier fodder with the SBCs that we had yesterday, fodder on the low tier is up big. That Bundesliga guaranteed got 85s up to 11K, 86s or 12,000 coins on the low tier fodder, especially like 83s and 84s that are a massive I would look to sell that stuff and reinvest on the weekend after pack supply, lightning rounds, weekend league rewards, pushes those prices back down, and we'll have another investment opportunity on those cards, which I think will be a very, very good investment. Because also, if you think about it right now in this game, a lot of people, myself included, we're running thin on fodder. We're running a lot more thin because we've used a lot of it up during this last week of Bundesliga, when you know we had a lot of SBCs, or even two weeks ago with Prem, you had a lot of SBCs, and we maybe had some saved up fodder, and we had packs that we were opening, or upgrade packs, right? And now that kind of like stock that we had is, is dwindling, right? It's running out, and now people have to go and buy more fodder out of pocket. So I think fodder this weekend is a really, really good look, especially with a lot of SBCs coming. It's just going to depend on when we get those SBCs as to how much fodder will rise and when the best time might be to buy. But in general, on the high tier, do a club stock, get a couple in your club at the very least. And uh, I think we could see those prices rising some during this weekend. Now, really quickly, today on Thursday, I was a lot about tomorrow and upcoming. What's going to happen today? We're going to get a new La Liga set of objectives for XP. Again, it's probably not going to be double XP because that was the whole Bundesliga week, right? But today we'll begin a new set of the La Liga tot season swaps. So watch out for some potential XP reward gain in there. Level 30, guys, is not going to be able to be attained, um, I don't think, 
until we get to League One team of the season because that player pick at the end here does contain League One Tots players. So I would not expect to get all the way there um, by the end of this next week. It'll probably take a few more days uh, into next week before we get there. So we're not getting too close to level 30 just yet, but we're closing in on it there. Watch out for that and marquee matchups. And I do believe we will see an Openda Player of the Month SBC today on this game. So watch out for a new high rated, I think it's going to be an 89 or a 90 rated version of Openda. That could be really, really nice. Now, really quickly, just to cover to the market today, Bundesliga Tots cards. These guys were really low really really low yesterday there was a lot of panic selling i lost coins like i mentioned i kind of sold like right in here because i was not wanting to hold on to these cards i was a little bit worried about what could be upcoming and they went low around the time of the sbc and then some of them jumped right back up afterwards if you bought any of these cards yesterday for a flip right and not for your team in that low point or during that kind of low area that we were in the last day I would look to sell those cards today and not mess around with what is upcoming for La Liga, especially with all the SBC content. That definitely contributed to some of the panic selling and the price drops that we saw yesterday was all of the SBC leaks, all of the La Liga stuff that was going on, the daily icon SBCs. That 1000% is impacting these card prices on this game. So just be careful owning these. I think they might drop off a little bit with La Liga team this season coming out. Again, that's what happened with the Prem. I think it could happen with the Bundesliga as well, especially because La Liga has some hype. But we'll continue to monitor those prices today. We've got supply with division rivals and marquee matchups that could impact some of the lower tier. And maybe that could present a good buying opportunity on the fodder. Today's also a big day for Diaby versus Tammy Abraham in that Europa League showdown game. It is the day on who decides who gets upgraded out of those two road to the final cards. So uh, also Sevilla and Juventus as well. Big game there. So right now, Roma is leading 1-0 on aggregate. We'll see if Leverkusen could do anything about that playing at home. We'll see if Diaby's going to get that five-star weak foot upgrade. Of course, Calvin Phillips and Barella are both getting five-star weak foot upgrades after their team's advancing on into the next round keep a close eye on this david alaba just as something to kind of watch out for because he is down bad after he's no longer getting upgraded but i probably won't buy this card until i see some more news about the center backs kunde and uh militao but that'll be a card a lot of people might want to use during la liga tot so a lot to discuss today a lot of craziness but we'll be back today on the stream looking at everything else talking about it further and tomorrow in a video we'll break it all down for what we might see with some new information that we learned today on thursday for the upcoming la liga team of the season so if you're excited for la liga team of the season drop a thumbs up on the video comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nathan for the count i'll catch you guys today in the stream peace out